take the liberty of saying a few words before I begin this reading. On July 4th, 1776, with the Declaration of Independence, our forebears began the road to a more perfect union. It is important to remember that when they spoke in 1776 about all men being created equal, they were only talking about certain men and no women. <laughs> it took us a hundred years to include people of color in our constitution as equal. It took us nearly 75 more years for the courts to pronounce what that equality meant. It took another 150 years for the Women's Suffrage Act to be passed. And so we weren't born a perfect union. That's not what the forefathers imagined. What they imagined is that all of us, as citizens and participants in this great country, would continue down that road. We can't reach it merely because it happens back then. We have to continue working at making this a more perfect union. And so I start the recreation of that one day. But thank you for being here today and affirming that we are still active in trying to create that place our forefathers wished for. In Congress, July 4th, 1776, the unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men, and today all women, are created equal, <laughs> that they are endowed by their creator with unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the government, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government. Laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. <laughs> 